Welcome back guys to another video at Trader's Journey. Today I wanted to make a quick video just on helping you guys out with some tips just on creating faster fill orders. Now I, I've heard of several people who struggle to get orders filled and that, that can be on whichever platform you're using. I personally use Tastyworks and if some of you are aware of Tastyworks they are notoriously known for fast fill times so I would highly recommend Tastyworks as a platform if anyone has been struggling with delayed fill orders but um, nevertheless even with Tastyworks there are instances where you will experience delayed order fills and I'm going to talk you through some tips guys um, using this platform which can be universally un used on your own platforms just in order to quicken and quicken your fill orders and provide the fastest route to filling your order so guys this this screen is 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 sort of universal to most platforms and you will see this table which shows all your contract prices and um, I'm just simply going to be talking you through the fastest way of filling an order now gen generally speaking guys if the, sh the stock price or the underlying stock price is moving really quickly you will generally struggle to fill orders on a particular contract because of the fast the way the stock is moving you're unable to catch that movement in the contract price so by the time you're trying to fill your order it's too late and uh, your order just gets order simply just hangs uh, as a, a waiting order and never actually gets filled um, so I'll be talking you through some of the tips to get past that but I'm just going to first give you some tips just generally in options trading and how best to approach placing orders to ensure you get the fastest order time so let's take this stock for instance I'm looking at uh, SPY the ETF um, SPY 500 so I'm looking at here um, a contract the stock price is currently at 336 um, for SPY so 336 for SPY so we're looking at a call contract now if I was looking at this contract and I wanted to get filled at the fastest point for this particular order I would simply select a market order now I I that is if I was to want to experience the fastest order time but would I recommend a market order I, I wouldn't recommend a market order the reason being is it will it will pick any price to fill that order at and you, you just can't control that price and uh, with a limit order it does give you some comfort that you have selected a price and it will only fill the order if it achieves that contract price so if if your primary motive is just to get filled and and just and if a stock is moving really quickly and you just want to catch that move before it's too late then that is the only instance i would use a market order but for all the orders i place generally with my options trading it will be a limit order now moving on so if we're trying to place orders with limit orders and you're trying to place it as fast as possible generally so generally when you look at this sort of drop down of all the contract prices you'll be presented with a bid and an ask price generally when you are when you are buying a contract you will always click on the ask price first so you would simply click on the ask price first and you'll be presented if you're looking at tastyworks or whatever platform you'll look at you will see that there is a a range in the price which is the difference between the ask and the bid price so in order for me to ensure that the order gets filled and and it's the most give it the the most likely chance of it getting filled the best chance for an order to get filled would be directly in the middle because ask is what people are are bidding to 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 buy the contract and um bid is what people are looking to sell the order at so if you meet them in the middle the buyers and the sellers in the middle of that particular contract you will achieve the the highest probability of that order just selling for that mid price so generally when i'm looking to fill an order i will always select the mid um, however if you're looking to achieve even faster fill times i would head somewhere closer towards the ask price now it is a bit more expensive so you may lose out on some of the profit margins of these trades but um, if you're looking to make even faster faster orders then aim for a price above the mid and maybe potentially close to the ask and if you really want to get the fastest fastest fill time um, for limit orders then you would simply just go at the ask and and buy it that that is for me the quickest way if anyone tries to sell you any quicker ways 
there's no other quicker way of filling an order other than paying more more than the odds for the contract so if you're willing to pay more for the contract you will achieve that uh, you know that 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 order fill will will fill much like lightning fast and i've experienced that myself but if you want to um, pass up on that and you're still unsure whether the order will be filled and if you want a guaranteed fill regardless of what price the contract is filled at you would simply place a market order as i mentioned um, but that's just a quick tip guys for any new traders or existing traders but for me i will always go at the mid price and for me on tastyworks i there's only been two occasions in my year of trading where i have experienced maybe a slight delay on an order. Now, um, some friends of mine who trade on Thinkorswim, they are known on Thinkorswim to experience a lot of delays um, and waiting times for order fills. So I think that's just one of the benefits of using Tastyworks and one of the, the main reasons that drew me towards using Tastyworks was the fast fill times. Um, some of the more experienced traders I've spoken to um, highly recommend tastyworks and from their experience of using more platforms than i have they have also told me that tastyworks is the fastest fill orders they've ever experienced in their options trading career so i really do hope that helps you out guys but uh, like i mentioned just to recap mid price is the best price to usually aim for when trying to get an order filled if you're looking for even faster times aim for a price closer towards the ask price and if a stock price is moving lightning fast and you you really want to catch that move and the only way of getting filled is through market order then that is simply what you have to go 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 with but just keep in mind with market orders you will lose out on a significant amount of margin profit margin because of the fact it can fill the, the contract price at any any price it throws at it that just will fill it as fast as possible so if you're um worried about your risk management and how much your money you're putting down then avoid market orders completely and that is simply what i do and i stick to limit orders so i hope that gives you guys a bit of a briefing on what type of orders there are um, to place contracts to place options contracts orders through um, but the two main ones you've got the limit and you've got the market orders but uh, i hope that guy helps you guys out if anyone's got any questions on market orders and and fill times be sure to hit me up in the comments and I'll be be helping every single one of you get through this. But it is a sort of simple strategy, but it does work. And some, some people get confused with either place, placing an order at the bid price or the ask price. But the best, the best strategy is to go straight down the middle and that will hopefully um, avoid any delays in your order fills. But if anyone's experienced anything different, as I mentioned, leave it in the comments below and I'll be sure to help you guys out. But that's all for today and I will catch you all on the next video. Take care. Goodbye.